Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we are going to draw a cute little raccoon uh, inside some flowers and grass. So let's get started and I hope you are enjoying this video and if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. So to start off, we are going to start off with the eye and then we are going to build the face and it's just going to be the face of the raccoon and um, because it is inside some flowers and some grass and looking at us so that's what we're gonna draw so uh, I hope you like it and I hope you draw it with me and you can always send me your drawing as well uh, if you want to and um, I'm going to give you some fun facts about raccoons as we draw and if you have any requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below and if you have any fun facts that you would like to add let me know in the comments below and or any fun stories that you have relating to raccoons please let me know in the comments below and shortly I will give you some fun facts about raccoons and today I'm gonna read cbc.ca for the fun facts and it has some really cute pictures as well if you want to check those out as well. So we are uh, almost done with the face, I mean uh, we drew the eyes already so and the nose so all we need to do now is just add the shape of the face usually um, they have like a distinct face shape because around the eyes of a raccoon is black and then um, around those black spots it's usually like gray or whitish color and then it becomes darker gray for the top of the head and little bit of the ears and the rest of the body as well. So we'll get into that and I'll show you how we color it as well. And I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like at the end of this video as well. And to give you some fun facts, I'm gonna start off by saying there are, um, when it comes to raccoons, raccoons have been around for 40,000 years. Raccoons migrated north by adapting to new environments and can now be found as far north as Alaska. Raccoons are small, have sensitive hands, and can eat just about anything, making them ideal for urban life. And Raccoons love life in the big city. Today there are 20 times more raccoons in cities than there were 70 years ago. Well, they eat everything, so they probably can live anywhere so and then uh, anywhere and um, maybe they are increasing in population as well because they have abundance of food. I don't know. I'm just thinking uh, this is not from the website. I was just um, thinking to myself and telling you guys what I think. And going back to the website now, Toronto is the raccoon capital of the world. 50 times more raccoons live there than in the surrounding countryside. That is, uh, I have actually seen raccoons around in Toronto. Um, one time I was walking along on the road and a raccoon fell like few inches in front of me and uh, from the from one of the roofs from the side of the street um, and luckily it, I believe it survived but it fell right from the roof so they are everywhere but I find them to be very cute 
um, they have a very cute face and they are very fluffy um, I don't know if they are safe to touch but um, they are very cute looking and uh, just to read some more fun facts raccoons hands have a bunch of nerves that are like taste buds sending information to the brain interesting right when animals animals are very interesting and they have very um, different characteristics that you would not think of uh, raccoons use up to 20 dense sites at a time from sheds to sewers in the city raccoons territories average around three square blocks they prefer backyards to parks so those are some fun facts that I have for you today um, and if you find them to be very cute and if you uh, seen raccoons before and have some stories that you would like to share please let me know in the comments below and like I said before if you have any uh, requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below as well um, I would love to draw what you want me to draw So you can see that we are done with the drawing part of the raccoon. We are just adding in details of the flowers and the grass around the raccoon because I wanted the raccoon to be in the middle of like some flowers and grass and looking out at us. Um, so that's the look that I was going for. Um, but you can really add to this drawing and make it your own as well you can make it so that the raccoon is inside a den or inside a um, tree trunk where it has a hole in the tree trunk um, and looking outside at you whatever you want to do or like uh, peeking uh, from a branch something like that and um, for, like you or a dumpster whatever you want to do you can really add to it and make it your own and add more details to the drawing as you like I just wanted to add more color by adding in grass and some flowers so it becomes more colorful um, so I will show you how it all looks at the end of this video as well so you can see now that I'm starting to add in color and uh, I'm gonna start off with gray and then I'm going to add more details to this as we go and they are very fluffy furry animals so you can really add line by line if you want to uh, make it really look real with the fur um, you can uh, if you add line by line and add all the colors it will look realistic more realistic than what I'm drawing now uh, but uh, you really have to put that time and a um, lot of um, time into it really uh, so uh, this is the way I colored it um, this is the easy way to color it because it doesn't take so much time or days to uh, do it when you do it this way but if you want to add strand by strand and look at a real picture and make it really realistic you really can um, if you want to so you can see that around the eyes I made it black if you want you can go all the way to the uh, bottom of the face with that black line as well because real raccoons have like that black line going from eyes uh, around the eyes to all the way to the end of the face like a curve on both sides so now I'm going to show you the full color drawing. So this is the full color drawing of the raccoon that I colored. I really hope you like it and if you do don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. 
and also I put some next uh, videos for you and I put some products out on my Redbubble shop link so check it out the link is in the description box below for you and like I said before these are the next videos that you can check out next and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel I release a video every single day so I will see you tomorrow bye